welcome to the second part of the story of Ibrahim السلام, related to Hajj and sacrificing. So, moving on forward, when Ibrahim السلام, comes out of the fire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts him in another test or gives another test to Sayyidina Ibrahim السلام. Now, test after test, trials after tribulations on Ibrahim السلام. Why? Because Allah wanted to give this Ummah with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. Because a sacrifice comes fruitful results and the result which this Ummah got that from the progeny of Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala blessed us with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So now Ibrahim Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, second marriage to Hajar Alayhi Salaam, from whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gifted them Ismail Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, and from his first wife, Sarah alayhi salatu wassalam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted them Ishaq alayhi salatu wassalam. Both anbiya are ulul azam subhanallah. From the progeny of Ishaq alayhi salatu wassalam, Yaqub alayhi salam, Yusuf alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam. Going more back to Suleyman alayhi salatu wassalam, Dawud alayhi salatu wassalam, and many more anbiya alayhi salatu wassalam with taslimat. From the progeny of Ismail alayhi salatu wassalam, no one in between, only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test the love of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam. And tells Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam, O Ibrahim, you are to leave your wife Hajar alayhi salam and your son Ismail alayhi salam to a place called Bakka. Mecca was known at that time by the name of Bakka, Bibakka, as mentioned in Quran. So when they're leaving for the journey and when they reach this destination where today is the Baytullah, uh, the Kaaba, and when Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, leaves Hajar والسلام, and baby Ismail, when he's returning back, going back towards Palestine, wife is asking, Oh Ibrahim, or oh my husband, why have you left us here? In this deserted place, in this jungle, where there's no one, not even a single trace of mankind. As far as you can see, Ibrahim والسلام, stays quiet, does not reply. And when he moves forward, further ahead towards his transportation, his camel or any means of his transportation, the wife asks him again, O oh Ibrahim, why have you left us here? For the third time, after all, she is the wife of a Nabi. So she says, O oh Ibrahim, is this the order of Allah? So Ibrahim والسلام, says, Yes. She said, Then you may leave because Allah will look after me and my son. Allah is the best of all protectors. When Ibrahim والسلام, leaves, now the story starts of linking and synchronizing the story of Ibrahim والسلام's life and his family with Hajj and sacrificing. When he leaves, now the mother is taking care after the child in a desert. No one, animals, jungle, fear, but they know Allah is there. So it's, heat, it's a heated place, it's a hot place, and the mother needs to feed the child. So Ismail Ali is, uh, is on one valley, and then Hajar Ali runs from Safa to Marwa. She runs in the search of a caravan to ask him for help because the child is hungry now. She wanted to get some, some nutrition, some food from Ask the caravan for help. She runs, then she comes back to Safa, then Safa to Marwa, then Marwa to Safa. Why does she come back? She goes on top of a valley, looks if there's any caravan so I can ask for help. Then she comes back running to her son that no animal has harmed my son. No one has harmed my son. So this distance, subhanAllah, for all those of us who've been for Umrah uh, or who've been for Hajj, they know the distance of Safa and Marwa. Seven times she did this, seven times. And on the seventh time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
liked this act of Hajar Ali Salatu Wasalam so much, so much, so much that till the day of judgment, whoever is going to go and perform Umrah or Hajj, they have to fulfill the Sunnah of Hajar Ali Salatu Wasalam. Running on Safa and Marwa or walking on Safa and Marwa. There's Milin Akhbarain, the green lights where Hajar Ali Salatu Wasalam had to speed up a little bit. We fulfill that same Sunnah today. And this was the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam as well. So at, the, at, the, at that hour, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gushed the water of Zamzam beneath the feet of Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah sent Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam. And then so much water came out that in Ibrani, in Hebrew language, Zamzam means stop, stop. Today, what is the reason behind Zamzam? Why do we call Zamzam? Zamzam, stop, stop. So she said, stop, stop. Ulama and Mufassirin write, if she wouldn't have said Zam, Zam, then this entire world would have been filled with the water of Zamzam today. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this control within that, the boundaries, the holy boundaries of Makkah al Mukarramah. So now when the water gushed out, prior to this, she was running for help for a caravan. After this water came out from the earth by the order of Allah, a caravan happens to pass by. Now look at the system of Allah. Before she is running, no caravan. Now when the water has gushed out of the earth by the order of Allah, all of a sudden a caravan. So Allah wants to show that Allah is not in need of the help of makhluk of creation. He is the creator. He is Rabbul Arbab wa Musabbibul Asbab. When this caravan saw that, look, there's water here, there can be life here now. So then they, they, they were wayfarers. They used to pass by and they made their local destination, that place called Bakka, where they resided. And now one more question I want to ask the audience today, all you brothers and sisters and my elders, that so many of us, haven't been to Makkah Mukarramah for Hajj or Umrah, yet we have drank the water of Zamzam. This is the miracle of the water of Zamzam that Allah liked the act of Ismail والسلام, so much. He's a baby, he's a child, but Allah makes decisions when you cry in front of Allah. This is the time of acceptance when we get our du'as accepted in these holy days of Ayyam Hajj. And then Till the day of judgment, whoever goes to Makkah Mukarramah for Umrah or for Hajj or anywhere in Saudi Arabia or Medina to Munawwara, regardless you've been for Hajj or no, yet we have taken the benefit from the water of Zamzam. Everyone has drank Zamzam. Majority of Muslims have drank the water of Zamzam. Some haven't even been to um, uh, for Hajj or Umrah. This is the sacrifice of the family of Ibrahim Ali Salatu Wasalam for me and you and for all of us. Because of their sacrifice today, Allah has given us this beautiful gift of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Now moving further ahead, when this town gets settled, Ibrahim Ali Salatu Wasalam is making effort in Qadiyat of Palestine, in Palestine, calling people towards the greatness of Allah. Now he misses this family today. He's missing his family and he's requesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I want to go back and meet my family. I want to go back and see how my family is. What condition are they in? There is no WhatsApp, no Facebook, no telecommunication system, no internet, no letter system at that time. How does he know? Does he, he's thinking, is my family even alive? Is my son still alive? Is my wife still alive? What is happening to them? Allah is playing his own system back there. Allah is looking after them, brothers and sisters. Here Ibrahim, he's a father, he's a husband. It's mankind's nature. Though he is a Nabi of Allah, he also has emotions. He requested, Ya Allah, I want to go see them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted permission to Ibrahim alayhi salam, but there was a condition, O Ibrahim, when you arrive in Makkah or Bakkah, you are not to get off of your transportation, your camel or your ride, and you are not to talk to your family. Such a big test. 
Today, when, when we meet somebody, first thing we have to hug them. We have to speak to them. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I missed you so much. Ibrahim alayhi salam was not allowed to express those emotions to his family. A great test. You're only to go see how they're doing and come back instantly. He is the friend of Allah, Ibrahim Khalil Allah. He said, Ya Allah, labbayka Ya Allah, labbayk Ya Allah. I am ready to follow your orders. When Ibrahim والسلام, reaches Mecca to Al-Mukarrama, that we will continue in our next episode. Jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.